On January 2, 1987, Chief Iwanyam officially opened the Madam Holder Megame Bunam Iwanyam orphanage at his hometown of Atta. In December 2010, Chief Iwanyam donated cash worth about 6 million naira to some retired Anglican church bishops, retired civil servants, old people's homes, churches, and motherless babies' homes. In 2014, Chief Iwanyam provided 1 billion naira for the building of the Cathedral Church of St. Matthew Atta in Ikedu Diocese of Anglican Communion. This Cathedral Church of St. Matthew Atta was built and donated by Chief Dr. Emmanuel Chukwemeka Iwanyang. This Cathedral Church of St. Matthew's Atta was dedicated by His Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Nicholas D. Oku, Archbishop, Metropolitan and Primate of all Nigeria, in the presence of His Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Caleb A. Madoma, Archbishop of the Province, and his lordship, Right Reverend Emmanuel C. Maduike, Bishop, Diocese of Ikeduru. It was dedicated on Saturday, December 28, 2019. The foundation stone of this cathedral church of St. Matthews was led by His Grace, Most Reverend Caleb A. Maduoma, Archbishop of the province, in the presence of His Lordship, Right Reverend Emmanuel C. Maduike, Bishop, Diocese of Ikeduru, on July 2014. This Cathedral Church of St. Matthew's Atta was built with one billion naira. Welcome. On Wednesday, May 12, 2021, Chief Iwanyo laid the foundation stone of St. Peter's Catholic Church Special Jurisdiction at Works Layout Oweri. He became the first Anglican to donate his land as a patriot son and to lay the foundation stone of a Catholic Church. For years, the Iwanyo Foundation and the Iwanyo National Ambulance has been in existence with over 7 billion naira spent so far in charity and scholarship to thousands of people. Chief Iwayan's favorite hymn is Amazing Grace, which was written and published by the English poet and clergyman John Newton in 1779. In 2009, Emmanuel Iwayan compiled a book entitled Selected Hymns for Devotion, in which the hymn appeared first. His second favorite hymn was composed by Horatius Boda in 1846. It is listed as Hymn 117 in Iwayao's Compiled Book of Hymns. It is entitled, I Hear the Voice of Jesus Say. A third favorite hymn is, It Pays to Serve Jesus. I love Chief Iwayan will live the happy family life with his wife, Chief Mrs. Yudura Iwayan. He had the following children, Dr. Umwadi Oto Ihekaunwa, Ni Iwayan, Barista Iberichuku, Nene Iwayan, Barista Izin Ni Alao, Ni Iwayan, Mr. Jidechuku Emeka Iwayan, Chinedum Iwayan, and Chimdima Iwayan. Chief Iwanyang's wife, Chief Mrs. Eudora Iwanyang, died on August 20th, 2011. When Chief Mrs. Eudora Iwanyang died, Chief Iwanyang went into a very deep isolated period of grief in which a religious tumult arose in him about the afterlife. But he was gracious enough to let us know that he believed in the afterlife. He feels that the spirits of departed loved ones are still around those they love. In summary, Chief Iwanyang believes in 
1. The fallibility of man and need for remission of sin. 2. The inferior power of Old Testament matters for the atonement of sin. 3. The seven grace and power in the blood of Jesus to redeem man and save him from sin. 4. The importance of the epistles and early Christian activities of St. Paul as amplifying the teachings of Jesus and transforming the orbit of his teachings from Jewish to worldwide dimensions. 5. The existence of God, the omnipresent, omniscient, and omnipotent. 6. The existence of conscious life after death. 7. The harmony of his personal goals with the divine will of God. He ends his goal-oriented conversations with by God's grace. 8. Believe in the divine bestowal of sundry gifts in man for his use in promoting love, happiness, and peace without prejudice around the world. What do I want in a woman? I had, because you see, that is why it's good to start be a professional. I said, look, the purpose, my purpose of marrying is to get somebody who, if I die, will be able to keep my legacy, will be able to keep my family, will be able to stay and then look after my house so that when my children come, they will have a house that is to go, the house will be clean, the house will be maintained, they will have somewhere to cook for them. Uh, because most, most people, when they die and their wife die, their places are covered by a bush. And some of them, the children are maybe abroad and they don't even want to come home. So I realized that that is the type of person I want. And then such a person, to be honest, must be somebody who has a child with you. A woman who has no child with you will not uh, be able to, uh, to come, to marry you, but, and will not be able to stay. And you know, there may be a lot of pressure from families, especially if you have, uh, if you have, if you have some wealth. Or resources, the people will try to push her out and so on. So I classify women into three categories: those between 50, look 50 and above, 40 to 50, then 30 to 40, and then 21 to 30. Because I can't marry anybody less than 21 years. So when I, I started with 50 and above, I realized that. All, usually all of them have been married before. Either they were divorced or their husbands uh, died. Usually all of them have got children from their marriage. And most of them cannot get another child. And in such a situation, when, if they come and when I die, they will definitely, uh, they will definitely uh, uh, move away. On Saturday, September 21, 2013, Chief Iwanyawu married Princess Frances Iwarim at the Bishop's Chapel Cathedral of St. Matthew, Atta. On December 31, 2016, the couple gave birth to a bouncing baby boy at the United States. He was named Kamsi Yochuku Ugunna Emmanuel Iwanyawu. Emmanuel Jr. was dedicated on Easter Sunday, March 27, 2017. Me, my husband is uh, a lot of things to many people. So many people feel he's, um, he's this and that. Some give him so many names. But for me as a person, I haven't lived with him for nine, getting to 10 years. I would say my husband is a very humble, God-fearing man. He's a very passionate person and a disciplinarian. As a father, he's a very loving father. He's one person that thinks about everybody first before he thinks of himself. Like, He's always planning up for people, thinking about tomorrow. He's a very intuitive man. He's someone that, you know, he, he takes his time in anything he does. And when he does that, believe me, he, he's doing what he believes in. He's, he's not someone you can wish away, even in the home. You know, when he tells you about things, when he talks about things, he's someone that is so rooted in, in his faith. A living legend of our time, his heritage is humility. His profession is pragmatism. 
His legacy is diligence and prudence. His promise is versatility spiced with magnanimity. On Sunday, September 4, 2022, Chief Imad Iwanyang attained the ripe age of 80 years. To God be the glory. Great things he has done.